In designing ribs, I came across this challenge. How do I pattern this in what should basically be a circular pattern, but it's a rectangular design? Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. So how can I pattern this red ribbed feature? I want a pattern uh, approximately, I want four total instances and it basically follows a circular format or circular pattern style. So let's try that. The first thing I need is an axis that would run through the middle and there's a few ways I can build that. Um, it could be as simple as just creating a sketch line in the middle or um, if you need to create your planes first. So we'll do the mid planes right in the middle there. There's one. We'll do it again. Side and side. And now I have two mid planes that intersect. Now I can create an axis out of those two planes. Go find axis through two planes, select the two planes, and now I have an axis. Whatever is the easiest way to generate rather a line, a sketch line, or an axis, do that. And once you have it, I'll turn these off we can start the pattern. So I'm gonna search for patterns. And I'm gonna do a circular pattern. Even though it's not a circle, um, and it's not a circular shape, we can still use that pattern. So I'm gonna use the features. I'll select the rib, this feature here, and the axis that's in the middle that we created. A sketch line will work. And because this is a, kind of an interesting shape, it's more narrow uh, in one direction than the other. It's a rectangular shape. So if I were to do four, I'm gonna get a nice uniform placement, but you can see that the ribs are smaller on the side. So what I want the pattern to do is intelligently resize each one or redraw the rib as it goes. And so I'm gonna have it adjust have it recalculate as it goes, creating the three new instances. Hit OK. You can see that it solves and adjusts accordingly. We now have those four patterned instances. So I thought this was interesting. I actually hadn't bumped into that in a long time or ever where I wanted a circular pattern instance, but on a shape that's not circular. So I hope this helps. I'll see you guys in the next video.